It was long. It was intense. It was satisfying. It was also the greatest rivalry in the auto world. The mother of all slugfests. Ford and Ferrari brawled out in the racetracks. Subaru and Mitsubishi slugged out on the streets of Japan. Volkswagen and environmental activists argued out in courtrooms. Sorry, we could not find a worthy opponent for our German friend there. But none of these head-to-heads, or better put, bumper-to-bumpers, ranked anywhere near the legendary rivalry between Ford and Chevrolet. It was the slugfest between America's foremost car company and the brand built specifically to beat it. A rivalry that got personal and had general managers going all out to enact revenge and settle scores. A tugout that predates many car companies and their founders. A battle that started in factories and offices, made it to the racetracks and continued on to the highways. When William Durant teamed up with Louis Chevrolet to build a car that would beat Henry Ford's Model T in 1911, little did they know that they were setting the ground for a contest that would push the limits of possibility and change the definition of performance cars. A contest that gave the world models like the